it's Erin. Okay, I just want to do a quick application video for you all so I can actually walk you through the steps of application. Um, so the first thing that you'll notice um, when your order arrives to you, it, um, all of the sheets come in these little um, envelopes. Some of the envelopes are purple and some of them are white. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you get. They're the same information. It just depends on which background the wrap actually looks better on. That's how they decide which one to put in the envelope. So um, I had a purple envelope today. Um, I'll actually be putting on, uh, this is Cat's Meow. This is a... Um, this is a satin design where it's actually a metallic finish that's also matte. Um, it's really, really pretty on. Um, so it's a little bit gold, which is kind of hard to see with some little cat dots. <laughs> um, so you'll notice that on the wrap sheets there are um, 18 wraps in 10 different sizes. The two biggest wraps are slightly different in size. I usually save these for my big toe for my toes because um, I can actually do a pedicure with this wrap and then this wrap. Um, just cut into smaller pieces. So lots of value there. Awesome. Okay, so this is a wrap sheet. Um, you'll also need um, a mini heater or you can use a blow dryer. Mine is on right now. Um, you'll need some scissors. You'll need some um, nail cleanser or um, regular rubbing alcohol will do this as well um, just to clean your nails off. Make sure there's no oil on there. Uh, you'll need a handy dandy nail file. You'll need a cuticle pusher. Um, if you do not have these things and you're looking for them, um, Jamberry does offer an application kit. It comes in this really pretty purple bag. Includes um, nail scissors, uh, the nail file, some cleansing pads, a buffer block, um, an orange stick, a cuticle pusher, um, and it's perfect. In this bag, actually, the wrap sheets fit right into and the heater fits right into um, if you're looking to store all of your stuff in the same spot. This is actually awesome. This is actually how I store my stuff. So um, the application kit is awesome. I do love it. Absolutely. Okay. So you're at home and you're ready to apply, right? You've got your stuff. You're all laid out. You're ready. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're starting with clean, dry nails. Okay. So wash your hands, um, you know, dry them well. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to actually clean your nails off. So I've actually already done an application on this pinky. Um, I've done most of that application. Um, so I'm going to do my I'm going to do my left hand ring finger, um, and I'm doing my left hand because I am right-handed. So I always start um, by applying on my non-dominant hand, which is also what I always recommend to people when they're just starting out: apply on your non-dominant hand first, so you can get a feel for it. Um, and I always work from my pinkies across the four fingers and then I do my other hand and I do my pinky across the, the four fingers and at the very end I do my thumbs at the same time. All right. So I have a little bit of cleanser on my cotton ball. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this nail down. What I'm doing is I just want to make sure there's no oils from my skin getting on the nail um, because oils will break down the adhesive in the wrap and they'll come off. So that's what we don't want. We don't want our wraps to come off. That's the whole idea, right? So I'm going to look at this sheet. Um, and I'm going to look at it this way. <laughs> okay, so what I know is that um, I always want my wraps to be slightly smaller than my nail, which means I want a tiny bit of nail showing. Let's see if I can show you this. Can you see there's a tiny little bit of the nail showing on the side there, um, right here where it starts to kind of connect to my skin. Um, so I want to make sure there's a space there. So what I do is I just take this wrap sheet and I just kind of fold it over to see like how much room I have. Like for me, um, this third wrap is my um, my ring finger. So that's what I'm going to do. So how I do this is I just take the wrap and I'm just like lifting like half of it off. And then I remember where I put my scissors and I pick those up um, and I'm just cutting the wrap. Just straight in half, no, nothing fancy, there's no like rhyme or reason, there's no like it has to be perfect, anything. Um, then I'm going to take the wrap and I'm going to heat it. So I have my heater here and it's on, and so I'm going to heat it like this, just until you can see it gets a little bit flimsy. See? That's it. Okay? It's not a ton of time. So then I'm going to place this wrap right on my nail. I'm going to take my other fingers away from the heater. Alright, so place it on the nail. I'm going to make sure it's pretty much straight, um, and then I'm just going to kind of slide it, well not slide it, but like smooth it out, um, usually like up the middle and then down the sides, okay? So there we go. I've got a little bit of excess here on the top, so what I'm going to do is take my nail scissors, 
and just trim that excess bit off. See? Excess. Okay, and now I have um, two nails that are applied, but their ends aren't smooth yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nail file and I'm going to file in a downward motion. Let's see if I can get it a little closer for you. In a downward motion, just until the very edge. You can kind of see it right here. Like the very edge of it is coming off. And now this edge isn't is the part that's not attached to my nail. So I just have a little bit of edge. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to do the other one. And I'd say the first couple times you do this, you're probably going to be a little bit more hesitant um, with how aggressive you file because you're probably not going to be sure of how hard you can file. Um, and I know that I can actually file fairly hard. So um, there we go. That one came off. So now these two are done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just put them right in front of the heat for just a couple of seconds. See, one, two, three, and that's it. Okay. So they're smooth. They're on. Um, and I'm good to go. I can go pretty much do whatever I want to you. I can go change a diaper. I can go um, grab my keys and run out the door to go to the grocery store, which I've done. Um, I can go chase down a kid at the bus stop because he, you know, is being crazy. So uh, I'm done. The only thing I don't really recommend doing is taking a really hot bath right after because you just put them on. So give that a couple of hours and then if you really want to go soak in the tub, go for it. All right, so I will see you ladies soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and click subscribe so that you can see more videos of all the jamming things happening around here. Um, but if you need anything, you can see me also at my website, which is erinhenderson.jamberry.com. Have a good day.